you know? It's very hard for me to care about women's basketball. You don't like women's basketball? You got that's the it's like if you watch women's basketball, no, you gotta up, really Kev. like love the game. Right. I mean, you know listen, I, mean? I was listening. It's different. No dunks. Well, listen, I'd like to point out, I'd like to finish you know my sentence. I mean? Listen, when yeah. I was a little kid and the WNBA debuted and it was like the Liberty and Rebecca Lobo and Leslie, uh, what's it, Lisa Leslie and uh, Cheryl Swoops on the Comets and all that. Uh, it, it was all right. But again, no dunking. It's all fundamental. No, it's like watching the Spurs play the Spurs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all <laughs> fundamental. Like, uh, uh, American basketball <laughs> needs that. I think that's why they embrace yeah. it right now, too. Yeah. Because it's so different from an NBA game. It is different. Like, NBA ain't playing no defense. <laughs> yeah. No, they're not. Well, I, it's also like... Fly by. It, it's also not together. a coincidence that... Uh, corner shooting threes. All the best players are European now. Not all of the best players, but they have... A good, lot of them. A lot have, of them. They have good European players. Yeah. I mean, Giannis, Embiid. Jokic, Luka. Luka. I mean, it's, it's pretty top-heavy if you look at, like, the top five. Yeah. This is like with so many. Who do you think would win between like Team World versus Team USA? Starting five versus starting five. Like Twelve man, you know, like a full lineup. Team World might have that. Luke is the point. Listen, no, Luke is the point guard. Okay. You got Jokic and Embiid, and but, and but Giannis. Embiid's playing on Team USA. No, oh no, no, but he's for he's not he's from for, Cameroon though. Okay, oh, but you, you said Team school? World. You said yeah, Team yeah, World. I guess he would be Team World. Where do you yeah. go to high school? That's where he would yeah. play. We went to high school in Giannis, USA, right? Giannis, though. Giannis is play from, we play in team. He's from world. Greece, though. He's from Greece. Yeah. Shea Gillis Alexander from uh, Toronto. SGA's from Toronto, yeah. From Toronto. That's what yeah. I'm saying. We got a lot of people. That's they rough. got a crew, but. That's the best they've ever been. International. Yeah. Do you the feel game's like. evolved. Do you feel like, because uh, when you were playing, like, if all the Europeans were, like, kind of perceived to be, like, soft as fuck, like. Well, the rules changed. You know, there was, like, Peja Stoyakovic. You know and I mean? like uh, the rules changed. You can't put your hands on the play as much as you. But you play. had kind of like Dirt some finesse to your game. Yeah, no, I played hard. I played hard. I came in the game, you know, as um, beating guys off the dribble. Yeah, using my handle, my natural ability to handle. I was slim, so I had to be slick. You know what I mean? But I ended up being like a defensive rebounding. Power forward. Yes. No. I think if he was like a point forward. You were yeah. definitely point yeah. forward ish. Yeah. You were like ahead of your time a bit, to be honest. 100%. Yeah. It seems yeah. so long ago. They probably let you bring the ball up now. 100%. I brought it up for the Lakers. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. More. You know? Seems so long ago. They let Zion ago. bring it up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, shit, the Suns, my team, we don't even have a fucking point guard. So. Yeah. No. Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck we're doing? The they lost last the other day to the Spurs. To the Spurs with no Wemby. I watched Trust Me. Yes. Yikes. Part two. Phoenix Suns are bullshit, though. No. We Yikes. are. When you see my... Oh, I mean, do you watch basketball like a lot still? A lot. What do, you think, what do you think is wrong with the Suns? Besides, we don't have a point guard. And Frank Vogel's an okay coach. What's wrong with all these NBA teams? They have no offensive orchestration. It's just like... Iso ball. Yeah, especially the Suns. It's just crazy. It's like everyone takes their turn. Random yeah. basketball. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's ugly to me. You guys are running like, like at least it. you guys are running like the triangle. Yeah, there's a little bit yeah. more structure. Yeah. And we had a nut on our team. I don't get it. Who was the nut? Kobe you? Bryant. Oh, Kobe. Okay. Like I don't know. I got to ask who the nut was. You guys also had Ron Artest on the team, so we got to be very I'm specific. About, I'm about, <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you, but you have nut. to have some kind of. Um, Offensive flow. Yeah. To Nuggets offense. have it. Like you can't just, and NBA, everybody play the same way. Yeah. Pick and roll, pick and roll with the best player. Yeah. And then from right? there, hope there's, he, hopefully there's a shooter in the no, corner. Yeah, but he dribbles the ball. Yeah. Probably to the time he's running out. Yeah. Then he passes it to a guy that's and then a bad not as good as him. Yeah. With the time running out. For yeah. a bad shot. Oh, yeah, yeah. For, you know he, what I mean? But he's not as good as his stats. Yeah, right, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But because the best player is going to yeah. orchestrate the play. Yeah. So he's going to pass the, the ball clock. That's yeah. not as good. Yeah. With time running down. It don't make yeah. sense to me. It's yeah, like yeah. That's what the yeah. but Devin Booger will dribble the ball. It's like eight seconds and then make his move and then. And then you pass it into Grayson. You got to hope Josh Akogi hits a fucking four three. Seconds. Yeah. And it's he like, gets blamed. So yeah. stupid. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. So it's just like who come down to who's going to decide to play defense. 